Hey everyone, and welcome back to Oak Street City Zoo. Thank you for being with me again. We are in episode number six already of our, our City Zoo, and um, I'm just gonna give you quickly a roundup what's going on in case you haven't seen the series yet. This is my new franchise series, and this is going to be a very classic style City Zoo. The idea is that you guys are able to send in some blueprints into my uh, Discord channel, and then I'm going to use these blueprints to bring them together in one beautiful, coherent looking, hopefully, uh, zoo at the end of the day and uh, we are obviously doing this in franchise mode and we are actually playing in the hard mode um, that said we also have to take care of our guests and our animals every now and then and this is what we are going to do today we are basically checking a few things and we are bringing in one new thing you've seen this from the thumbnail I'm going to go for something very much requested and I'm not entirely sure if it will work out and how it will work out but I'm quite sure that it potentially will um, while we have an issue that protesters are again arriving in our zoo which I don't really know why to be honest um, let's check if our animals all do good or not so let's check the welfare no well they all don't really do that great um, like we can actually fix that problem quickly over here so that's done but the lemurs I mean I have seen why the lemurs are not doing that well um, this is potentially because of the stress levels um, yeah I guess there's only one way to, to, to decrease the stress level a lot. Okay, so you know what, we are, we are going to do this quickly. Uh, unfortunately, I think we have to do it. Um, and we're just going to put in a lot of one, whoops, why is that even that long? Uh, One-sided glass panels. So we are going to bring them in mostly everywhere. So there's one here. The other one goes to this side, just making sure that the animals get a lot more privacy um, in these areas over here and there, you know. I think especially this area is very uh, interesting um, and also hard for them. Uh, you know, I just want to make sure also that the animals are able to still go over from the left to right and so on. You know, we have to make sure that they still can do this. Um, also, let's just uh, move that. I, I don't know, can we just move that through the animals? Yes, we can indeed. Um, let's keep it that way. Did I move that into the into the wall? Oh, whatever. Okay, we're gonna have to change this direction here and gonna make this into this direction. This is all fine. Okay, so we have to kind of deal with the education board a little bit. Isn't that, uh, I was about to say, this is kind of a blueprint, right? I'm going to put this here. And now in here, they still have the possibility to move into the kitchen if they want. And they still have this climbing frame where the keeper can deliver some stuff. Now we have to look into that the keeper can still reach all the things because as we remember the entrance is here so at the moment they they won't be able to so we gotta have to give them an entrance here on this back side so we're just going to delete this bit of, bit of uh, stuff here um, just gonna do it that way because we have to there's just no other way of doing it um, and you know what we, we just you know we, we keep our life a little bit more simple we just take that right hand side here just delete this this and this and then we're just going to search for a brick doorway this is that one so that shouldn't be too big of a deal and just copying this bit over to make it still look coherent so they can go in here from the back side and then you know just can still go here if needed they can go here if needed and they can go out here i'm not sure if they would be able to reach this back side like there's still the same issue and i guess you know to make sure that they um do not have the same issue we are just going to wait is there on this uh, okay, so this time we're gonna have to take the other side then, which is fine, I guess. Um, let's just keep the floor, and then we're just going to bring that one in here like so, that one like so, and also now the lemurs can hopefully walk past a little bit better. And now, you know what, we're just going to use this piece here to kind of make these things uh, seem as if they were intended to be here, you know, just making sure that this all looks a bit more uh, coherent, and I don't know, uh, not so forced and not so weird, but actually like as if it belongs here. Um, I'm not sure if, if this will keep this. I, I think we, you know what, we can actually leave it as it is over here. Why not? Um, and then before we end this little and keep playing again, uh, we gotta have to say disturb. That's the do not disturb sign. I'm just going to place this down here. And people told me that there is like a security radius around that one. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one here and the other one 
goes all the way here. So that should be fine. And now let's hit play again. And we're gonna have to check if the habitat still works. Um, now let's have a look. Um, all these people are so insanely crowded over here. Like I'm, I'm really hoping that the stress level is now going a bit better for them. Uh, let's first of all see if they can still traverse. They obviously can't for whatever reason. They can only go in here. So what is blocking? They can't really pass through here. Okay, that's not that's not ideal. Um, I'm a bit wondering why. So maybe I'm going to just delete these things and uh, is working again. That would be the best thing, the best possibility. Let's have a look. Yeah, that, that kind of connected all the stuff again. But I don't want to keep that the, the only thing they can can walk over. I think I want to give them the opportunity to climb this one over here as well, okay? So just gonna, gonna give them this bit over here. I'm just gonna drag that all the way out. And let's say rope. And then we are just going to connect the ropes here. Um, yeah, well, I think the easiest way of doing it like that is so. And then I'm just gonna pull this into here there you go just connect those two things and then um yeah let's do it that way and connect it over here i'm not sure if this will help them to go over um oops let's see let's see if it's just using that one that would have been kind of funny though but i like they can look at that they can actually actually use this pretty easily so um yeah also they're doing a lot better now which i hope is the case for most of them let's have a look um, if they do better, yeah, look at that, they all do better, and now, um, you guys are not doing so well. What, what's your issue? Social is the issue. Is that still, like, also because it's too stressy over here, or what is, what's the, what's the big deal about you guys? Space. They have insufficient space. Are you, are you serious, guys? Um, they have no climbing. That is... Um, that's a mistake. Okay, I got, I'm gonna be back with you guys in a second. This is just a mistake from the game and I'll be back. I just need to reload this park. There we go again and you can see the animals are pretty happy after, after all. I don't know, sometimes the game still has this issue that they can't really see the climbing, but normally it's fine. So let's have a look in welfare. Yeah, that's all good except these dudes over here. Um, it was Rhea and Dommel, right? So I'm just gonna keep those two sent to Trade Center. Yes, indeed. Look at that. And um, let's go to Exhibit Trading and we can actually sell all of them, make some good money again. So we are still making good money. We are still getting more people in. We do have to go for Hunger and Thirst and we do have to improve the overall education rating. Now, if we have a look to the education, guest education, you can see that there is a little bit of a red space because they are just like in this tiny, is this like, seriously? Are you, are you even, are you even, are you even real? Okay, let's put this to, yeah, whatever. Wait, is this because they're overlapping? Oh my lord, really? Okay then, I mean, all right. Okay, so there's not that much education uh, going on, it seems here. So we're just going to plop down a few more of these things uh, just to make sure that there's overall uh, just a little bit more education here and there, you know, just making sure. Well, actually, hmm. okay, there you go. And we can, you know, all, also just place down some more uh, stuff here and there. But I guess overall we are doing... We're doing quite well on the education side of things, um, and it will be better, in, in fact, in a few bits. I also placed down these two shops uh, in the last episode where you guys haven't seen that, actually. There's also... Do we have a mechanic, though? We have one mechanic. He's pretty much overworked because we need another one. Okay, let's employ another one so that we do have this done. Awesome. I think what we also can do... Um, did, I, did I employ a keeper who is working for the hyenas? Because I am not sure if I did. Okay, so we have a keeper and lemur, gorilla, mixed habitat entrance. There is no one, okay? So we have this this one who's still having a good time. Um, Brenton, you know what we can do? We can actually go to work zones and we go to mixed habitat entrance. And you know what? We're just going to include these things here. Is that the kitchen as well? Yeah, 
Okay, so we did include that, and now I think if anything goes wrong, but I think um, this this should be exactly the, the area we have, okay? So that is what we have. Now the next bit, I want to put more food and drinks down. We're going to place this here. First of all, we're going to finish up this building. And what we're going to do is we're basically going to just copy this bit over to the other side. And we're just hoping that this looks kind of good and kind of fitting. I'm, I'm not sure if, ah, uh, well, uh, we, if we make that a little bit slower, yeah, smaller, it works. Okay, slower. I don't even know why I said slower. But yeah, we're just copying that one in here. So yes, it can actually be the connection. Why not? Just going to delete this one and bringing that in as if it is what really meant to be that way. That way. And then we're just going to copy this bit over. And now that's actually pretty cool because we can just go back into this here and then we're just going to pull that one in. Um, Ah, uh, we would need some half-ish stuff. You know what, we, we just make our lives a bit easier now. Just going to delete this and then we are just going to make that work like so. I'm just going to bring a little bit of a nice looking top tile in. That looks, oh wait, actually, no, you know what? We can, we can actually work with some slate elements here. Why not? And just bringing this like so, you know, as if that is really part of the roof. Why not? And then from, from down below here, it looks all fine. And then we have the people walking through and I, I'd love to have this look a bit more finished, okay? So let's put down some plaster pieces. I'm not sure why I'm so chilled. I wanted to make this episode a lot shorter. I'm just hoping that my idea of the building for the, um, uh, for the next build we are going to do into this episode is just really that short as I'm hoping it to be. <laughs> because honestly, um, there is, you know, you, you saw that hopefully from the thumbnails, you will know that I'm going to make like a like a peafowl cage or maybe even a capuchin monkey. I'm, I'm not sure at this point in time. Maybe it's even going to be like a capuchin monkey habitat, but we will see. We will see. Um, but as of now, we need to make like a like a door. Okay, so this is going to be like a like a backstage door we're going to put here. Um, so only staff members can access here. So I'm gonna put this there, you know, that is what we do. And I'm also going to just copy that over to the other side, not because I want to see it, it's only to give myself the idea where I need to plop down now the bins, um, which is going to be exactly, wait, no, let's take that one, just gonna put this here. And we're putting the other one there so that they're only just taking the middle part. You know, we could actually also put that one a little bit more here and the other one here. And then we just put another here and there. So they have to take like the middle road and actually take that doorway. One thing again I forgot is to employ even more uh, vendors. So we're just going to employ these two vendors. And I'm just going to create another work zone, which is the work zone. Yeah, well... No, you know what, I, I'm not creating another one. I'm just going to my work zones and this should be the shops Vienna Tea House. And we're just going to edit this one because they just come with it. And then we are just going to go to staff and we have a whole bunch of people that are not employed, I guess. Work zone nine is not correct. Um, you're going to go for the, where is it? the tea wait wait shops tea house this is correct yeah shops tea house um you are going to go for the shops vienna tea house is anyone else without a, without a ticket okay not really why oh wait there are two more um not sure if i'm actually doing things wrong here all right but um now everyone seems to be having a job so i'm gonna you know all of them who are at the moment yellow in terms of workload will get an upgrade just to make sure that uh, they are capable of getting along with all that crazy stuff from the guest. Oh my lord, this is actually really bad, really bad stuff. I mean, guest, you know, stuff is really still okay-ish, but it's not like where we want to be in the future, okay? Um, anyways, I need to have another shop area over here and there will be another little um, area for uh, keepers and for you know, just backstage in general, that will be here. And then the zoo is kind of expanding into this direction, like 
in, into that direction here later. But today we are not even expanding it too much. I'm just going to build like a shop area here. Um, so what we need uh, is a blueprint again, and I'm not sure if you guys provide it. I, I haven't downloaded too much, uh, too much stuff here, but oh my, I'm, oh, that, that looks fantastic. Wait, is that like for Rudy's franchise? I, I love that one. Oh, this is like a small exhibit. Um, no, I'm, I'm not going to take this one, but there is like so much cool stuff. This is like a classic. Oh, this is a Haribo piece. I can, I can tell from the pieces. Um, is this like even with interior? Drum, it's not like it's not like dramatically okay so it's it's still okay um that's not really the location for it to be honest but this one over here is kind of cool to be honest um i'm going to use though this one which is with the shop and we are going to um oh, yeah pause the game quickly because that ostrich is about to inbreed which we uh, don't know and don't want um what's the height we need to go for and why is it not connect oh it's not connecting because of water water um ba -ba -da -ba. I love that with the I love that with the bike there. You know what? I'm just going to wait, there was a connection just happening here you go. There's a little bit happening here. Look at that. Um Yeah, I'm going to place that here. I'm going to place this here. And then this is a cosmic cow ice cream, so that is food, okay? So let's go to franchise. Uh what? No, I mean the facilities. I'll just I'm stupid. Okay, and then we just go for a... Oh, wait, we're not even in this building. Okay, now let's go back to facilities. And also, let me just... I need to hit play again. Oops. No, no, that was the wrong button. You are not going to be in breeding again. Stop doing that. Um, okay, so we are just about to build in that one over here. So we just go down and have some facilities. And then in this facility, we are just going to put down some more drinks. Hey, let's get for some juice. You know, just grab some juice and then some smoothies. Um, do you want to have, you know what, no, we just put that here. And then I want even more food, which is going to be hot dog squad, which is going to be here, okay? So I'm going to take this build style because I love it quite a lot. Is there actually staff only? Is there like nothing else in? No, okay. It's like that. Um, so we're just going to, we're just going to, can we just copy all of that? Yeah, but I don't want to copy the shops, you know, I just want to... Oh, wait, this is a different building, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, no, wait, it's only the roof. Is Ah, oh, okay, well, so what is in... Like, I want to have that build. Um, yeah, it's with the shops, though. Uh, okay, let's copy that all, and then we're just going to deselect the shops one by one. I think this should be possible, or not, like, the shelves, I guess. So that should be fine. And then we just copy that over. Yes, now we are talking, guys. Now we are talking. I'm just going to plop that down here first, okay? And then um, we do need this shop front. We need another shop front. We just only need one here because that's already correct. And then we're just going to just going to copy this once more. Boom, there you go. So we've got two fronts here. There's like another one that came just in for whatever reason. Um, we're just going to copy this and just rotate it. Uh, we only need one. It's kind of a little bit of a copy paste thingy here, but I think it's fine. I think we can all deal with that. Okay, let's delete all that unnecessary stuff here. There we go. And just merge that into this bit here. Lovely. Lovely, guys. Okay, so I'm going to pull that one now down here. In fact, it should actually work just like a charm. Um, and it does. Look at that. Okay, cool. Now we have to finish off the roof um this is this is kind of the uh how's that called again it's a normal copper okay so just gonna go in here and then we do need like a haha <laughs> yeah well but we we can go to two meters and then it should fit yeah there you go and then just copy this one boom boom i like that in my room okay sorry <laughs> it just came out of nowhere sometimes i just can't control myself you know um let's put that a little bit back and put this in here awesome okay so is there anything like a copper uh let's use that one then for sake okay so for that sake it's done guys it's done okay so i'm gonna put the um, down a path like which one was it that one so i'm gonna put this here and can i yeah i can which is which is great so i'm gonna build like is this also connecting, not necessarily though. Um, lemur is about to inbreed. No, I think you're not. 
um, because there are well enough lemurs. Let me just quickly do this because otherwise we, we will lose control over that. So we have this one female. Uh, 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 uh. These are both the kids. You know what we do? It's going to release these two to the wild. I mean, they don't bring anything, but um, I want to keep that one breeding. So we can also Rhea and Dommel stay there. Let's send those to Trade Center. Done. It's like, just a little heads up here on the animals, okay? So um, I think, wait, they are all in Trade Center now. Okay, so this is all still going well. Now we have to make sure that all these lemurs stop doing what they do. Um... We have so many of those, right? I think I'm just gonna go and select all the males. The males get all the contraceptive now. Only the males, because I'm lazy. Um, so there you go. We've got two elderlies here anyways, but just going to make sure that this works. I should have put in who's mom and dad. I mean, I could just from the... Okay, this is Frontier Zoo, so you, you don't. You can still do it. Um, those two are too old. So it's like another older female. Um, yeah, no, I think Hazimbola is not like working. And this is the one I gave it to. So yeah, we gotta need one more female actually if we want to keep this happening. Um, she's the alpha female. She's got three males with them, with her, that's fine. In here is all fine. She's too old. Uh, it's gonna gonna die out soon. But I think mostly that's what we have. This one, as soon as it's too old, we are going to have some issues here. But you know, until then, it's all fine. Let's go to exhibit trading. That we can sell all of those animals. Quick trade. Lovely stuff. Okay, cool. We've saved that. Um, let's quickly finish off this building over here. I'm just gonna. Okay, so there's no way I can... Oh, wait, there is a way to connect it. Awesome. And now I really hope that these two can... Oh, God, this is going to be a little bit of a tricky thing. But it potentially is... Oh, wow, it works. Cool. And now it should be pretty much easy to just... Ah, okay, that was one too big. There you go. Um, little connection happening here. And then, you know, just trying to smooth that out as much as possible here. I mean, it's just like something, I guess. Um, and you know what would be actually cool to also uh, align to grid? Yeah, I can just do this, I guess. And then is there a way to not really connect this here, right? I can only do this and then, well, let's just delete that one. Is there a way of connect? Yeah, that looks a lot better to me. And then I just want to make sure that we avoid like a traffic jam here. You know, I'm just going to put down some bins and benches here. Um, and let's go to facilities. There you go. And we are now going to have like, yeah, city zoo vibe coming in here. You know, just putting a whole bunch of benches down. Uh, I'm going to put some trees in the middle. Obviously, they will be putting down so much litter here that I'm going to just have all the bins. Like all the bins, okay? Not just some. We're just going to have all the bins. Everywhere we need them, all the bins, okay? <laughs> this is insane. Okay, let's go quickly to this area. Just type in fence, and then you guys provided me also with some cool blueprints. Let's have a look if there's any kind of fence I want to use here. I mean, there is this one from Haribo we used quite a bit. I, I think, okay, if you guys are watching, we need more fences, okay? More fences required. I haven't downloaded stuff yet. Uh, again, I need to. I know that you guys provided some more, but, you know, since I'm recording a little bit back-to-back -back here, um, this is why. How expensive? 700? You know what? No, 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 we go over. Oh, it's about to snow. I think we will definitely need to put down some heaters soon. Um, let me just grab that wall quickly. I feel like this wall would look decent here. And it kind of does. So let's do this quickly. And just, is this like, oh yeah, that making things a lot more easy, guys. A lot more easy. Now let's... <sighs> yeah, well, you know. Yeah, we have to go to like half the step. There you go. 
even though it looked a little bit weird, but yeah, that's fine. Okay, so this is going to be now uh, snowing in a bit. I keep this on pause for a second because I want to still maintain these few minutes of non-snowy conditions uh, to build what I want to build because otherwise I have no idea. We've got February, so yeah, we are still in the month of a potential snow disaster um, and that's the reason why I'm trying to avoid this quickly, okay? So we are making decent money, we are having... No big issues at all. Thirst is kind of an issue here, um, which will hopefully be improved by all the buildings we put down. Uh, education is hopefully increasing as well soon. But now, the one thing we are doing is this water bit over here is going to be changed a little bit because you guys ask for it quite often. And we're just doing something that you guys have requested, I think, over a million times, I guess. So what happens if I put the... I think I don't even need to put the water out. No, I don't even need to put the water out for my idea. Um, the only thing I need to do, though, is I need to... Well, actually, you know, for the moment being, I can just delete this and we are going to connect this soon again. Um, now, yeah, I don't know how big this is going to be. Now, what I need to do, though, is I need to... Oh, wait, I think I potentially do need to delete the water at least once. Can I... Bring this back in. I, I cannot. I think it's because of that pathway over here, right? Or was it that pathway? Okay, we're gonna have to check if it was this one. Which I believe it is. Um, yeah, no, it still does work. What happens if I delete this bit over here as well? Let me please put the wall. Okay, so... No one knows exactly why it is obstructed, right? Not like really necessarily. Is it? I mean, I, I, I just can't delete this one. That's not going to work. Um, this area over here is not going to work either. So the only chance I see now is to change the terrain so that it works. So just kind of making like this. Does this work? Uh, it still doesn't. Um, Okay, I, I, I really don't know what the deal is. I'm um, gonna change it a little bit like this now. It still doesn't work. Uh, I can't even put it deeper in. I, I really would love to know what the issue is here. Now, let's just smooth this all out a bit more. Just bring this all Closer to that, that side. It's still... What? I mean, sorry, but... Okay, let's just kind of make sure that this is... Okay, it's not that side, though. That works. So it seems to be this side on, on, on here. <sighs> you gotta love the system. Not... It's still not working. Okay, what about... Okay, so it's, it's definitely over here. Um... Let's have a look what happens if I pull that one in a bit more. Nope. Um, okay. Got to do it a bit more like this. Still not. Okay. Are you kidding? Okay, so we are just going to work our way now there. Okay, now it would work. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, let's just paint that a little bit further in. And now let's have a look. It's... <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay, let's just pull that a little bit back. Still not. No. Yes. Okay, so you're telling me that the issue is about over here somewhere, right? I don't get this. Okay, never mind. So we're going to have to tie this in um, because I am too lazy to, to clear, uh, clear this now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring that in. Great. And now we have to reconnect the path, unfortunately, um, because we are stupid. Um, well, in fact, I am stupid, but wait, there was the connection. I, I saw it. Now let's make that one longer, though. I think that should work. There's that bench. It will remain there. And then we have to... Yeah, no, I mean, no, that's the wrong direction. Um... Whatever. There you go. Connect this. Awesome. So that's all done. We will need this space here. Um, but I think the cool bit is we can. Okay, we can. We can put 
the gate now. Well, let's first of all go to barriers. Guys, this episode might be a little bit longer than I expected <laughs> because I'm stupid. Um, so this is going to be... It just was like for a second it worked. So I'm gonna have to put the entrance here. But that shouldn't be too big of a deal because that kind of helps exactly with what I wanted to build. Now the entrance is going to be here, right? Okay, now we're just going to build, like this thing has to be 250 exactly, like 250, awesome. And then this is going to be 252, if I do manage to, whoa, well, that's awesome. So I'm gonna stay flat top and the rest will be different. We're going to work with the chain link and we're going to work with a climbable roof top in both directions. However, I think I need to build with this one first and we have to, uh, yeah, we have to deal with this first. So what we are going to do here is we are building a little classical zoo style cage, okay? Not Nicolas Cage, but a zoo style cage. This is going to be very interesting because you guys have asked for it so, so often. And as I said, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put like a peafowl in or what kind of animal I wanna put in here, but this is going to be very, very classical. Classic, classic, like, like the the classic of the classics, okay? So something you would, would see in, in most of the city zoos. Um, unfortunately though, I have to say, you know, I have to get this um, away and off my chest. It is obviously one of those things you potentially, as a friend of animals, don't really want to see in a zoo um, because mostly these habitats are by far um, not big enough for the animals that are held in them. Uh, so mostly they do require a lot better conditions. And luckily though, most of modern day zoos um, are changing it already accordingly. So that's one of the positive aspects, if you will. Uh, but yeah, we're keeping this wall, this wall, and this wall being uh, fully the, uh, the normal the normal stuff, you know, um, and then, sorry, uh, the normal uh, brick wall, and then we're going to change this also to the climbable proof top. Here you go. So yeah, that's that's kind of it. And I'm, I'm not sure like if I want, because that still looks cool. You know, we could go for peafowl in here, but usually they roam around in a zoo. I mean, I'm not going to go for free roaming animals in this zoo uh, because it's kind of franchise and you know problems all over the place but uh, we are just going to connect by the way these two elements here just to make sure that we have a habitat again usually they should not be able to escape and this should just be the back side so they get even more privacy and this is going to be looking even better than it already looks well it doesn't look any good now but we will we will hopefully turn it into something look good looking um but yeah this as i said this water bit could could stay here because we are needing uh we are actually we actually do need to make this look good from the bottom part anyways, but we will also do this. Now again, I am not sure which kind of animal goes in here. I'm even willing to test the capuchin monkey, I guess. Because the peafowl... Ah, do we have any kind of smaller... Do we have a smaller kind of monkey that goes in? I mean, we have... But then we would all have all the small monkeys in one area anyways. And I think this would fit... And we could also put some heaters in. I think I like this idea. If, if you don't agree, guys, well, that's fine, I guess. I um, <laughs> uh, just do it, okay? So I'm just gonna get them. Um, so we need the, we need the, uh, blah. This was the super long, super long name. Uh, first of all, let's uh, clear that one. There you go. It's the Colombian white-faced capuchin monkey. I think there's none other, right? Do I, did I forget about this? No, I don't think I did. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of cool. We can, yeah, let's just get them. As long as the fatality is fine, I'm, I'm also fine. They will get a whole bunch of babies, so we will have to deal with them anyways. But let's get the two females in. I'm starting with like four. Maybe I'm, I'm starting with five, um, mainly because I'm not exactly sure how the requested family size is. So let's say Colombian white-faced capuchin monkey. There you go. They need two, 210 square meters in land and 20 square meters in, in climbing. That should be 
that should not be a big deal, you know, that should be South and North, uh, South and North America, Panama, Colombia, got about fine, tropical and temperate, awesome, species data, 8 to 10, uh, 8 to 40, 8 to 40, it's like, do they need 8 to be happy already, or is this like, I'm not like super sure though, but yeah, you guys also requested the end eater, it's not going to be in here the end eater, but in general the end eater is fine, how much square meters does this have, oof, Oof. I mean, you know, I, I still want to make sure that they are happy in there. So let's see if we can increase the size of it um, and just drag that all the way over here. Uh, hopefully this is going to be working then. Um, so let's edit this barrier again. I think if I'm just going to... Uh, wait, can I just pull this over? Yes, I can. And I'm just going to pull that one all the way over here as well. There we go. Just gonna make sure that this is somewhat nice looking. I guess that that is fine somehow. And we can just pull that inwards a little bit more um, because I will make this like ground. I'm not sure if this, okay. So I think we first of all have to build this because uh, uh, I'm not sure if I can judge it fairly enough this way. But what we will do already is one thing uh, that only works this way. We're going to raise that like to three meters, I guess. Where can I raise this? Oh, I can't even. All right, the game doesn't let me, so now it does let me, okay. So let's go to three, uh, 320, I guess. So is that still okay, size-wise? Yeah, I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna do it that way, and now we have to do the construction. We are already 35 minutes into the episode. I thought it would be better. <laughs> it's, it's a typical Rudy again. Okay, so we're going to build a little piece here to make this look all way better so we have to make sure that the the lower part is not climbable obviously um and now let's go back to a normal oops that was i i thought i was typing um plaster so it's going to be plaster here um and we're just going to make this more gray there you go and we're just uh, going down in here i mean we could also use some windows as back penalty but i just want to save some money so we're just going to put this here and on the other side, and now since this is not a building yet, let's turn that into one. There you go. Scenery group, uh, scenery group is done, and now what we also do, just put that one in the middle, so it kind of looks a bit better. So here we go. This can still be chain link. I, I, I'd love to see them even climbing on here, so why not? Um, but one thing that is not going to happen is... And that's gonna be, I think we need to, yeah, we need to do one. Um, but what we do now, we have to build like kind of a roof piece uh, to it. And I think I will go with a design somewhat like this. And then we have to make sure that we go to metal. And then this is going to be fairly simple easy square you know just just to use usual stuff lose usual stuff whatever where is it oh let's scroll down scroll further down um yeah that is that is like it could work though but um it, it kind of makes this whole thing too big i guess so we are not going to use this one i love the back side still of these pieces but uh they're all too big so is there like a smaller one of those yeah, that one could work. It does work actually, so that's that's cool. So this one is going to actually work pretty well indeed. So just going to pull that one in like so. And then, um, yeah, why not use the door, oops, as the roof piece here. So that's it, awesome. And then that is going to be, yeah, it can sink into each other, why not? And just making it that way. So that's kind of cool. And now, guys, I'm just going to stop this and I will um, replay or re, re, you know, rejoin the recording uh, once this is pulled all the way around because I don't want to bore you guys too much with it. So I see you after the cut. 
All right, we are back everyone and you can see I copied that around and I changed the layout a little bit of this habitat So maybe we have to change it a bit more to create even more space But I will try to find some solutions first before we do it um, We do have to change a little bit of the terrain uh, later on according to to what they like and whatnot But um, you know at the moment I'm just trying to make sure that you know everything in here is working and the animals are already You know scheduled to be delivered in here, but before they come I really want to make sure that there is everything available for them already so let's already say uh, capuchin and so this is what they they will have in here as well um, so I'm gonna put them some lovely bedding down here as well uh, so that they do have some kind of cool bedding uh, we will do also a lot with this bedding over here because that's kind of the more like zoo-ish uh, stuff you would have anyway so we're just gonna put this on top here and a bit more there I don't know so that they just lay down there um, I'm also trying to give them a forage box and I had the idea to make it somewhat floating if possible at all I think it's not really uh, this is this is a sad thing because I thought I would be able to squeeze that in here in the middle um, just floating and then just connecting this with a little bridge thing uh, but it doesn't seem to be just quite finding a space um, that's unfortunate but anyways okay so we, we just cannot put that in I'm also not sure where to gain the potential size of the habitat so maybe over here in this corner is the only kind of chance where we could enlarge it in, in a way that they would you know what you know what no no you know what we are just doing this we are just doing this guys we're just going to just create this bigger part here you know before we do i'm just going to relocate this dude um habitat boundary issues okay so let's hit play still cancel move move no okay so what's the what's your what's your issues then uh let's go back to barriers and then oh i didn't oh sorry 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 that was my bad just con wait nope no, 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 let's connect these again. There you go. That should be recalculated. There's the snow coming. I think it, yeah, it just moved away at the right time. So we're just going to make sure that this habitat is a tiny bit bigger anyways here. So let's move that over. And then we're just going to move this one over as well. So here we go. Uh, a bit like this. Just going to delete this bit here. I just want to make sure that everything is still in. There you go. And then we can actually delete these rocks because no one needs them anymore. They were just meant to be blocking here. So they can go, the animals can go. Maybe I'm giving them some climbing opportunities, but for the moment being, that should be fine. And now let's see if we can squeeze. I'm just going to delete the bedding here because this is something you don't really need. But uh, let's see if we can squeeze the enrichment in now. Okay, gonna wait. So what is the issue here? Is there not, like, there should be enough space now. It's not working. It's not working, okay. Let's play again, if it's working now. Okay, so we gotta have to be even more aggressive, I guess, with the habitat itself. So we're just going to pull that one all the way up here. So there you go. I'm just bringing that one over here. And so, effectively, now we have, you know, changed the size of the Capuchin Monkey Habitat dramatically. Just hitting play for a second and seeing if that works somehow. Let's say go back into the habitat now. Why is that not working? Obstructor. Why on earth would you be obstructed? Is this because of the gate being here? Maybe. Maybe the gate. Maybe something else. I am really not sure. Oh, is, is that like the water down here? Which I, I also don't think because you can easily put that above water normally. Anyways, I think, you know, we have to kind of deal with all the other stuff then um, and just plop some other stuff down and just hope that they, they'll be fine. You know, that these animals will be fine with it. I'm gonna put some, some other enrichment here and there. And then, yeah, I'm, I'm just like hoping that they will do good. Okay, so one thing I wanted to make sure like from the get-go now is that they do have some sort of uh, raised platforms as well. So in, instead of just making some crazy stuff, I'm just going to build them like a whole bunch of raised moving platforms. I guess this is 
this is kind of nice, you know. And since we lost a little bit of uh, time again, guys, I am willing to um, cut again until this is done and just show you the final result because I don't want to make this like crazy long, um, which is not really, you know, that essential right now. So I'm just going to put down some enrichment items, some climbing and, you know, just some, some generic stuff. And then I'm just hoping that you guys uh, appreciate the efforts in the end uh, because now it will take a few more minutes and then we should be fine. So I see you after the next cut. All right, guys, we are back. And surprise, surprise, this is the f more or less like finished habitat here. Um, it is not like super finished, but at the moment, this is what they have inside the habitat. You can see some really cool um, climbing over here going on. And there's also some, some cool climbing in the ground here, but it's not yet done. They still do not have, have enough climbing uh, for their likings. So this is what we're going to quickly change together. You know, I'm giving them a little bit more to climb here in the back. So we're just going to go for habitat and then we just go to climbing and you know there are some structures like that but you you just you know this is this is way too big to be built um so what we're going to use is uh, we're just going to use uh, some sort of i think it's all not really what i want to have though you know what I, I think i'm just going to give them a little bit of climbing myself now quickly um by just putting down some kind of stuff here um so no i don't want to have this in this group I guess so there you go um, let me just know let me just go straighten that to this ground because that one is not straight um, so we're just giving them a bit more stuff to be used and what I want to do I'm gonna quickly show you I'm gonna do it that way and then we're just going to go to here rope and um, where's the short one there you go so I'm gonna connect this here all right, I needed to cough dramatically. I don't know what, it, <laughs> sorry. Um, it was actually dramatically. I don't know what was going on, but I really needed to cough for a second. And oh God, this was this was so weird. Um, just quickly paused it again. I'm sorry. Anyways, um, we're going to build this little, almost like carousel-ish thing now, uh, which is going to be, which is going to be hopefully very helpful indeed. Now let's see how I can, rotate this yeah that was something i was hoping that it works so you know let's just give this a little bit of a, a climbing frame like that we're just going to delete this side here there you go now we have this little bit um in here and you know just uh copying that around once more i just want to make sure that this forage thing in the middle is kind of still there where it belongs so that's kind of cool let's copy that once over and just gonna put this uh, somewhere else down here, you know, just giving them a little bit more opportunities to climb and just going to do the same here in the back, you know, just so that they have more climbing. And here in the front, this is where I will put some plants and, you know, I'm going to, you know, eh, you know what, I'm just going to go down here, nature and say mulch. And then we can already uh, pull that strip of mulch in and nope, I don't want to I uh, have this like a basic thing, but you you know what I want to do is I want to make sure that this is kind of a little bit of a strip of mulch going through here um, where we will put in the plants. So that's going to be here. And then obviously in this area, we're also going to do something cool looking. So I'm going to put this there and then, you know, just, just kind of making this all look a bit more like soil and stuff. I don't know if that helps already. Um, so this is kind of how we do it. You, I, I don't know if you've seen that, but I used the green kind of ground to emulate or stimulate or whatever the, um, okay, the climbing is now fine. Um, I don't know why the navigatable land area is so low now. It was like pretty high a second ago, but now it calculated down a little bit. I'm not sure, but now it works. I'm not sure if it's because of these things here, but you know what? It's all fine. Um, they, they shouldn't get too many babies though. Then we will run a little bit out of space, but um, as of now, it all seems fine. I'm, I'm not sure. It, it kind of said 600 meters to me a few seconds ago, and now it's 280 square meters. I'm not sure why though. Um, let's have a little look onto what is the issue. Was it kind of this this thing? What happens if I delete one of those? I'm just gonna want to see what changes. Uh, it doesn't really change too much, does it? Let's see, does it recalculate? Yeah, it, it kind of doesn't change too much. The one thing I think we can actually do uh, once we go back into this building, uh, in order to get even more space for them, we could just move that one up here and then just kind of create like another layer 
maybe just also to sleep for them, you know, just giving them that bit of extra land space. I'm not sure if that counts towards climbing or actually towards the uh, in-game navigable area. I guess this should hopefully be still the normal navigable area. Oh, well, that's kind of not really nicely merged into each other, but well, that's fine. We're just gonna do it here as well, like so. I'm just copying that over, just copy some of those pillars here. Uh, you know, just having sh having one, uh, you know, maybe not in the middle here. Just gonna put this here, there, and another one goes here, and another one here. So somewhat to make it, you know, fit in, and I don't know. Let's go back to Habitat, and then just gonna put a pillar here. Hopefully this is already enough to get them up, and then I'm gonna give them another one to get down. That should be fine, and I, I don't know, this, this should all be enough. And then let's give them some bedding uh, on top of here, so just so that they will sleep there. I guess that hopefully gives them a bit more space already. Let's have a look. Uh, in fact, that gave them more... Oh, wait, they, they cannot really reach it. Okay, let's have a look why they cannot really reach that. Uh, maybe we need to give them a bit of a better connection not sure though but we will see god this is this is this is really tricky and the episode is getting again way too long but i know it's it's also not the usual kind of build i would do for uh you know for for my zoo here for franchise but this one just i don't know it just was so much fun building that i kept on doing it uh so yeah i hope you guys forgive me again for this utterly long episode which is for whatever reason not translating into any kind of traversable area here for them. Let me just see why. Let's move that a little bit down. I'm not sure if this works now. I have no clue. Can you just tell me please why you wouldn't take that as... It's, it's, it's simply not creating navigatable area for them. Okay. Um, all right, let's just move. Um, I'm not sure. Is that maybe because of these pillar thingies here? Sometimes they are actually being the problem when they're connected too crazy to it. So I'm just going to delete this and maybe that one over here. And then also they can't maybe climb this one, even though they, they definitely can climb this one. You know what we do in order to make sure that they potentially can get there? I'm just going to build like a ramp here. I don't know. Sometimes this helps. I'm just gonna make sure it's not sticking out too much here. You know, just pretending, uh, just building like this this normal ramp piece. Uh, we can actually tilt that even more. Why not? And there you go. This definitely should work now, right? This is creating hopefully a bit more. Okay, so is that like? Yeah, that's that's kind of fixing it. Okay, that's cool. So in case we have more issues with some more land area, we're just going to create some more race stuff. We can still go here and there and, you know. Um, also, my keepers seem not to be complaining too much about reaching areas. I mean, they... Mm, potentially. I mean, they can't really get anywhere too much, I guess. Uh, anyways, so... I don't know if they can traverse through here, but they, they definitely can't get to the back here. But well, that's, that's not too much of an issue. Okay, so what we're gonna create last is the foliage and then this episode is done. Uh, way overdue that it's been done, but yeah. So it's gonna be tropical and it's going to be North and South America. There you go. And we definitely need a lot more ground plants, obviously. Um, nope, there you go. So let's just cover this in these plants here. All of a sudden, this is like the best thing we can do because otherwise the other plans are weird so we can also use that one we have to go to the outside though to make sure that we see only the very 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 top of it because otherwise this is going to be strange okay so and most of what we can do has to happen in the back here so um yeah that's that's kind of a pity that we do need to do it that way but i think yeah, that's kind of the, the partly the problem about a city zoo like that, that you just don't have the, the possibility to have that much plants in here. So, you know, you, you can do stuff like I'm doing right now, you know, just fill in the plants uh, demand a little bit like this. Mm. Just giving them a kind of 
it, it's not only like a little bit of a jungle, it's nothing to be honest, but it's just like filling in a bit of greenery here and there, just to pretend that this is kind of a jungle-ish environment for them. And then it's going to be like super cool, to be honest. Um, is that like going towards your plant requirements? It's already fine. Good. Look at that, guys. Look at that. This is this is somewhat incredible. And I, I couldn't I couldn't be more happy about this. Oh, look at that. And even for us now, oh, look at this is this is this is crazy. Okay, now let's just do the one thing we need to do, and this is the education stuff here. You know, we're just gonna put one here. And the other one goes all the way over here. There you go. And this is going to be the Colombian white-faced capuchin monkey. Is that like, yeah, that's that's the name. That's the name, guys. And I'm gonna put like an education thingy here, which is the Colombian blah, 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 you know. And just gonna move that in. So here we go. Awesome, we are done. And look at that, I, I am quite a big fan of this habitat, guys. It's such a classic. It's such a such a zoo classic, if you ask me. Um, yeah, I I don't know. I I never believed we could do something like that in City Zoo, but oh, in my franchise actually, I should say, because that is just like so generic <laughs> and so bland. But I don't know. It looks absolutely the way it should. I, and please, please don't hate me. You know, this is this is a game. I would never want to see this in real life anymore. But this is stuff that existed. You know, and. Um, yeah, we gotta have to live with that. But I have to say, it fits really nicely indeed in here. I said I wanted to make this zoo a bit more cramped, and well, I didn't lie, did I? Um, and it's it's actually a lot more, it's a lot more uh, tight and you know narrow than what I've done before. But you know that's for it for now. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I do catch you in the next one. And in case you enjoyed this, please let me know down below in the comments uh, what you want to see next, if you enjoyed this episode, and so on and so forth. And if you haven't subscribed yet, but you like the content, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button, because it helps me, it helps the channel, it helps growing, and, you know, have a good time, have a good week, and goodbye, everyone. I'll catch you next one.